Well, hi, Rosemary Killip here from Building Networks. Today's tip is about fire extinguishers. Now look, nobody would disagree with this, would they? Fire extinguishers are really important. They're important tools to ensure that the right kind of extinguisher is used on the right kind of fire to suppress it fast while people are evacuating. However, how many do you need? How many do you really need? Well, that's a good question. Fire extinguishers are not put in by Building Code Building Act requirements. They're handheld devices and they are part of the means of escape from fire in the Fire Safety Evacuation Regulations. So, if you want to know how many you should have, you should look at your fire evacuation scheme if you have one, your fire safety plan that you've written, perhaps underneath the health and safety of the building. That way you can see what you've written in for yourself about how many you've told yourself to have, if it's a plan. And secondly, if you go to the scheme itself, that is held by the Fire Emergency New Zealand or FENS. Have a look at their website reference down below. And if you have a registered scheme because you're one of those buildings captured in that space, ring them up, email them, go on their website and see how you can get a copy of your scheme, which may have been submitted many years ago, might need a bit of a tickle up and refresh, and see what deal was done way back to give you the scheme in the first place. Really important that you have a look at that document to understand what was there. You might get a nice surprise. That might only be two or three extinguishers, not 30 that I saw the other day in an office, which I thought was really curious. It's not like a high uh, industrial building with a lot of activity that would generate a lot of fire risk. And if the building's sprinkled, well, that's a whole nother deal about what you may or may not be required to have. And remember, old buildings might have got sprinkled in the meantime. Meanwhile, you've still got a ton of extinguishers. Are they all really necessary? Last tip, it may pay you to get a fire evacuation consultant to do a bit of a review for you just to give you a sanity check on what you've got now, what you need going forward, and then you might actually save yourself some time and anguish and some money. So enjoy, go to the reference below and you'll see more about fire extinguisher requirements.